Fluffy Girl Nation is moving. Click the bell to be notified. Fluffy Girl Gang. Hey, Fluffy Girl Gang, and welcome back to the kitchen. You know if I'm in the kitchen, something productive is going on, right? Well, Fluffy Girl it is. But before we go any further into this video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, click that bell on all to be notified. If you're new to the channel, I need you to really, really think about it. Subscribe to the channel for them good vibes, because this is a good vibe over here. And if you already been here and you still watching, you're loyal, you're grateful, I appreciate that. But y'all know, y'all gotta catch these beats so I can catch y'all on this. Go, now. It's two butternut squash. Okay, and as seen in the title, right? I'm trying things different. Number one, because I'm getting older. Number two, I really don't care about the whole living cute and fabulous thing. You know, I want my wealth, my health to be good type thing. I want to be healthy so I can reach that age 99, stuff like that. So, some things that I've been doing was taking out a lot of my starchy foods. I do not have diabetes. However, my glucose level is a little high and my doctor told me that you can become borderline pre-diabetic, so you need to change some things up. When they said that, okay, of course they don't really tell you exactly what to change up, but you have to kind of get the gist of it, read and just be educational on your health, your own health. Not what everybody else tell you, okay? Because a lot of people say a lot of things. For us fluffy people, you should do this, you should do that, but a lot of things don't work. So, like last year, I started my journey doing the same thing. I did see a nutritionist, and even that person, once I put everything out there on the line and told them what I can't have due to my medical issues, like my diverticulitis for my stomach, and what I have already, like high blood pressure, you know, fluid, something like that, things like that, it's like, okay, huh do this huh do that versus really sit down and create a regimen for me that works for me i had to figure it out on my own so in the midst of that here i am this year and it's like okay well certain things that i did in the past worked but let me turn it up a notch. but with this butternut squash i do plan on making these into fries so i'm gonna cut it up y'all gonna see me cut it up I had the butternut squash, the dice from like frozen bag. Mm, it's okay. But I'm going to just try this because I know I still like eating my guilty pleasure like chicken nuggets and stuff like that. Instead of doing chicken nuggets and fries, I can do chicken nuggets and butternut squash. Another thing I change when I'm eating spaghetti, instead of doing noodles, I do zucchini. The spiral zucchini and the marinara sauce and like meatballs. I put that together and that works. Of course, I've been doing a lot of baked chicken and all that stuff, but something I have not done, and I had the recipe before, which is using cream of chicken and like baking it and doing shrimp with it, just something more frequent. And But instead of doing like potatoes and rice and stuff like that, I'll just do like hella spinach, hella cabbage, fresh, hella zucchini and stuff like that you feel me i have lost weight i have so i guess you could say it's like a mini keto diet because i think keto diets is like eating a lot of fruits and vegetables cutting out starches eating meats and you know for the keto diet like so i guess i'm on a mini keto diet i don't know i don't but we about to cut this up and yeah okay can you guys see this wait i probably got an angle y'all can you guys see this big thing? 
Alright, so what I need to do, I'm going to cut this side and I'm going to cut this side. Yo, that was a lie. Mmm, it smells like pumpkin. So then, you take this. Y'all, I've been having trouble with my arm, my dominant arm. And this just took a lot out of me. August 14th on my birthday, I go and get an MRI. I already went to the emergency room, because at one point in time it locked on me. I'm like, I was not able to use it at all. You scrape it out, scrape it out. I try not to use my right hand so much. At the same time, still trying to learn to be left-handed for when I need to be. It's kind of, it's hard, but it's not hard. It's a mind over matter thing. Because when it comes down to it, and you really need to be left-handed, you're going to be left-handed. Or vice versa. And I'm going to empty all this in my trash pan. Hold on tight to it, y'all, because I'm telling you. You go to empty it, and then boom, the whole thing is in the trash. So this is what it should look like. Scooped out. I still have to peel it, and then we're going to cut down. And I never did this before. I've seen recipes on it. I said I wanted to try something different. After I cut them down like fries, I'm going to soak them in water a little bit, then drain them, and then add seasoning on them. And then from there, I'm gonna use these freezer Ziploc bags and put like a certain portion amount, you know, inside of it. And yeah, when I want some fries, I go ahead and put them in the oven. I don't have no air fryer no more because I think they are good in the air fryer too, y'all. Fluffy Girl Nation is Fluffy Girl Nation is a movement. Look how beautiful that is. I peeled this one. I did. I peeled this one. I did one. And I scooped out. But the thing is, we about to turn these into some fries. Fluffy Girl Nation is a movement. All right, now that I cut it all up and all that stuff, y'all see, this is how my fries look. I'm gonna keep them long, because I like good long fries. I have... I'm going to seed them out now, even though before I put them in a the freezer, I got these freezer Ziploc bags right here. So, and I'm also, I have my parchment paper and pan. I'm going to cook some now because I'm hungry. And I'm going to go ahead and just eat some chicken nuggets and butternut squash fries for my lunch and see how I do. So...
But giving up certain foods, that's gonna take me a little longer. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's you know what what, that's what I had. Should be too good. Should be too seasoned. You know what I'm saying? Should be too seasoned. Say 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 hi. Say hi to Fluffy. Say hi to Fluffy Girl Nation. <laughs> Alright y'all, now that I have cut up, bagged up, and this is the bag up situation, I'm going to add some olive oil to this parchment paper a little bit. Simone thought it was liquor. <laughs> he is so funny. Fluffy Girl Nation is a movement. Alright. So this is the prize, y'all. And I'm going to come back with the review. Also, I got to pack up them other uh, butternut squash so I can give to Simone and Tish. Alright, so I'll be back, Fluff Gang. A few moments later. All right, so I burnt them, y'all. Ha <laughs> ha. But I taste one, and when I say they are bussing, so I'm glad I chose the uh, seasonings I did. If y'all ask me how long did I leave them in the uh, oven, I don't know. I did not time them. But when I say these are success, these butternut squash French fries are a success. Mm, got a little crunch to it. These are potatoes. Add some ketchup to it. What? I'm in there. Make sure you guys are loving yourself while loving on others. And I'll see y'all in the next video. All right? Bye.